sick. End of chapter. That was a super quick chapter. Now I started recording like 15 minutes ago. The last crystal star had been hidden in the x not hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario had recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. Well, I think there's only one place left to go now, actually. Because now that we have all the crystal stars... Aren't they connected to something to do with the title of this game? <laughs> well, we're here. Now where's the stupid Poshly Sanctum? Crystal stars there, right? So they say, your putridness. And lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Great! About time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go. Oh man, he's gonna be disappointed yet again. It's locked, it won't budge. Darn it! The lock broke. Whoa, buddy! Or, whoa, baby, awesome. It opened. Talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays. <laughs> Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is finally it. Whoa, ha, ha. At last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star. Yes. Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're absolutely the best star-getting guy. <laughs> I like how he just wants to be like Mario, collecting stars, saving Peach. You there! I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm a remorseless king of evil. A shadow thief. Kupuku. Should I say Kupuku? A remorseless king of evil. Kupuku. I am a great Kupuku. I'm taking this. Mess with me and I'll bore you to death. <laughs> I see. Unfortunately for you, that's a red heron. Yes, a fake. If you want it, it's yours. W what? Fake? But look at this fancy display, the pedestal and everything. It's so posh. If it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. Ho 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 ho. You've got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Erg, those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time. How bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser! Just sits on his head. Ah, Paragoomba, what are you so worked up over? Hmm? Tell me. Now reporting, sir and, uh, ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is headed to the thousand-year door. Huh? What? The thousand-year door? What in the heck is that? The thousand-year door! An unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door. Yarg! Then I'm going there too, immediately, and I'm gonna ruin Mario. Ruin me, he says. Will you know? Luigi, well done, lad. Way to not fail. Yet. Yeah. I like how he still calls it Luigi, even though he knows they're talking about Mario. It's great. Save all game progress. Oh, heck yes. Oh, yeah, we're making leaps and bounds. Let's go. Yeah, it's only 7.50 in the morning right now. Huzzah. Man, this coffee's, like, extra perky today. Still got like a good half a cup. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Delightful. Now we can open the thousand year door. Ah, but. We still don't know where Peach is. Well, I suppose we should head back to the report. Perhaps Lydia, frankly, can help us find Peach. 
What if I said I already knew what's happening to Peach? I really don't want to spoil it for you guys, though. I do remember this bit from back in the day and from watching some of the speedruns. Okay, so... How do we get back... to not... you know... here... Well, no, let's go back down. Because I don't think we can go up, right? I think there's a different way back. Because we blasted ourselves to the moon. Like, we can't just go out to the middle of the moon and be like, hey, you know, blast us back. It was canon for Pete's sake. So let's go back into the room that the bad guy was in. Oh, it's tech. Oh my, where are we? You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. Man, I thought they erased him. I am so sorry. Most of my data was erased. Main power unit shut down. Now running backup power. Only cache memory. Stay operation. Mario, know that Princess Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach. Please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus in the place of Shadow. I have to tell you that. Backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogue Forest. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I'll release the room lock. Peach in the place of shadow. It's a place or palace. Please hurry, there is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will erase all function sent to the teleporter fort. Seesaw function. Well, what will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But... If it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I meet Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer. Just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you please. And tell her... Thank you. For me. We shall, Tech. So hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her. Tech system failure reported. Mario, darling, you must save uh, Peach. We have to do it for that poor Tech as well. Everything is red. I'm surprised there's no, um, like, countdown and some explosion or anything that's about to happen. I mean, I'm not sure how space works. I mean, I'm sure the building is all secure, but... Huzzah. Lost my train of thought there for a second. Anyways, Tech's the real MVP. You know, totally gotta respect him. So which one's the teleporter room? Probably the one that looks all teleporty. Oh my god, kill it before it lays eggs. Burn it off. Oh wait, there's a thingy up there. I saw a thingy. I'm no expert, but I am a great detective. Uh -huh. What? Why are we ape it? That's awesome. Alright, that was a great time. 
I don't, I, that was so weird. I don't think that's ever happened. I mean, to be fair, I've only played this uh, game like, you know, once way back in the day. One of these rooms has got to be a teleporter room. That looks like a teleporter. Hey, there's a weird cog up top there. Oh, we get that through the piece up top there. Oh, whatever. Let's just hit, hit the zappy zappy and get back to the, you know, Entremajigger rope port. Alrighty, guys, let's go! Oh, yeah, I'm feeling a lot perkier today. <laughs> My apologies for being a little depressy in the last recording there. To be fair, we were getting our butt handed by that red dude. <laughs> Goodbye. Aw. I'm a miss tech. He reminds me of that one uh, computer. Like, there was this one machine that was built to leak oil, but it was, um... You know, it had this, uh... Oh my god. You know, like a thing, a squeezy for, like, wiping windows and, like, car windows and stuff, and, like, it keeps the oil into itself. But, um, like, at the start of its life, it would dance for humans and do a little happy dance but after a while the oil leak like becomes more and more and after a while like it wouldn't dance anymore it would only focus on keeping itself alive keep the oil in itself and yeah, eventually it did pass you know the robot but you know it's still feels these um i dare say i just heard something did you hey so guess where this is this room right here which i thought totally had something to do with a moon? Well, if it isn't Mario. Over here, son. What are you doing down here, Professor Frankly? You bought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talk into my good ear. The x -Not Fortress was on the moon, you say? Ah, yes. Ah, uh, so Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Well... Yes, indeed, but the Exynos boss took her and left for the Thousand Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled something rank in the air and went to the Thousand Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with Princess Peach. Are you quite sure? I was under the impression that the door needed all seven crystal stars to open. Believe me, I know, and I am quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short, we must go into the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle, you must come immediately. You know, he says don't dawdle, but I kind of want to dawdle. Because I want to go get some more of those uh, life mushrooms. I'm not even going to check the email this time. But yeah, we're going to go get some life mushrooms, and then I do also want to go visit... Um, that one lady again here, the fortune teller, because she is boosted, as I've said, like, multiple times already. <laughs> she can randomly increase our attack power, she can randomly increase our defense power, you know, she randomly increases our stars. <laughs> uh, hello, welcome, yabbity yabbity yabba. Uh, I think I'm just gonna get the... 21. No, we can afford the 50. Yeah, because we can still get like 18 friggin... No, because those life streams are like 50 apiece, so I can only get like 3. Ah, fair. Ah, oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Coffee is a good time. Looks like my cats are finally calming down from their random energy burst. My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine. Sincere, my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. Huzzah. I do like this game. I really, really do. It's just like, when I have to record like i only have so much space on my computer right and like the process of like making a big recording and then having it on my computer and then having to splice it up in 4k quality which is totally not necessary but um 
yeah, like, it, it just takes time. And, yeah, like, it forces me to spread the game out. Like, unless I were to just upload hour-long clips of full recordings, but, um, yeah. I don't know, I'm just rambling still. So, in other news, I did get the Jack and Dexter trilogy as well as Combat Racing, so... That might may be some more games we may add to the collection. Uh... I think these are the same stuff he was trying to sell last time. We shouldn't even be looking at, uh, stuff to buy. We don't have that much money. But, I mean, we can sell some badges we're not using right now. Oh, it's Luigi! Alright, we're gonna have to listen to his long tail. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's see, adventures. Ah, of course. Me, I'm done questing for now. Yep, I scaled Hate Song Tower the other day and rescued the fair Princess Eclaire. That's one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just bonkers, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Hate Song Tower. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, and this part is just crazy, but here it goes. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff just beyond the northernmost sea. The winds whistled down the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. Blocking out the bone-chilling howls, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Eclair warmed my heart and gave me power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out to Princess Eclair, but I couldn't even breathe because... As I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. The Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I could st stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped on his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split in the air and crashed dead center onto the Chestnut King's skull. Hope powered me up, bro. I was just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it. This is it. I thought I can win this. I'll risk it all with my next blow. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for the mo my moment. The tension stung me. Shwack! The ocean's wing... Yeah, the ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With that sound as my call to battle, I advanced with no mercy in my heart. And then... And then... I beat him. I defeated the Chestnut King. An even worse beast came next, a nightmare thing, but I beat it too. I rescued Princess Eclair, it was all over. And then I came back to Brokeport and I had a light lunch. That's about it. Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Not at all, that's it. That's a whole story. Uh, quest for Princess Eclair, the end. But my adventures won't end here, bro. They'll never end. Yeah. Uh.